everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Today, I'm going to be doing what I did last month, which is checking up on what events should be coming out for the month of October for Fugodo, Fugo NA. Uh, the reason we know this is because we follow JP pretty religiously, though recently we've been getting banners with units that they didn't get. But either way, it's a good way to look into what is going to be happening in the game. So, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It helps out the channel a whole bunch, it helps me grow, especially the last one, it helped a whole bunch. I thank you guys very much for doing that. You can also leave a comment that helps with the algorithm stuff, so if you find anything helpful, that's how you can help me. So, let's get into it. So, this is very weird, because uh, in October, this is how it looked like for them. That's not us, because that was our September, <laughs> so... The only thing that's different is that we are actually getting Christmas rerun pretty soon. It should be at the beginning of the month, but I actually think the reason we haven't gone in it yet and we're getting this pre-release campaign is so that they can buy just a little bit of time, but funny enough, I think there's some other stuff. So let's go into it, November. So first things first, there is something else that I forgot to mention that will probably happen. I think they said that this is specifically happening earlier. This is the next Lost Belt release. I can't remember if they said specifically it would happen in October or November, but something to keep in mind, we might end up getting this early. I doubt it. We probably aren't get we're probably getting it sometime November. I just don't know when. But we could always get it October if they really wanted to up the speed of things. But anyway, let's look into it. Imaginary Scramble should be the event that would be coming in right after Christmas, which is this one. If you're curious about Christmas, this Christmas is one of the only two events that has a welfare in it that's pretty good. So I should suggest actually doing it. All you need is Fuyuki to actually do it. Next, Imaginary Scramble. There's a pre-release campaign. Um which you can see right here. It lasts for a couple days, for like a week or two, damn. Um, we get AP cost reduction campaign for Lost Belt Part 2, Singularities, um, Lost Belts 1 through 5 have free quests. I think this is specifically the free quest versions of it. For the main quest, it's up to Lost Belt Part 2. That's half AP and then 1 fourth AP for Singularity F and Epic of Remnants. Oh, I guess Epic of Remnants is excluded. <laughs> It literally says you're excluded. And then we get half AP off for free quests, which are a little bit more rare most of the time. We get it for Singularity F to Final Singularity, Shinjuku to Salem, and then Lost Belt 1 for Lost Belt Part 2, which is pretty nice. You have to have cleared Lost Belt 4 main quest to be eligible to the, for the free quest 1 half AP. That's an insane thing to be a requirement, but okay. Limited time master missions. You can get some foes. And most importantly, you can get some 10 quartz. We should be getting a strengthening up quest for uh, for all the foreigners because the imaginary scramble is foreigner related. It should be for Abby. I forget her name, even though I pulled her in Mysterious Hero and X X. Uh, should be the name right here. There you go, Yang. There you go, Yang should be it. So yeah, ahead of time we'll be getting a summoning campaign um, that will feature Yang Yang on Raid Up, Frankenstein Saber, Fran Saber, Raiko Lancer, and Mysterious Hero and X X. Which is pretty nice. I'll go into the actual unit stuff when we come near here. I think oh, we also get a rate up for Imaginary Around and Imaginary Number of Magecraft. I wonder if this banner will change and they'll add another unit. Like maybe they can add Abby or something? Because, hmm, I don't know. That's speculation on my part just because of what they've been doing lately. But I think it's likely they might add Abby just because now that I notice it, it's weird that Abby got a strength up and then did not actually get a banner to go with her. But maybe she's in the next one. But next we have Imaginary Scramble. This is the event. I believe this you need to have cleared at least Anastasia, so make sure to do that. Also, the... The current events partition prayer requirement is Lost Belt 1 Permafrost Empire Anastasia. However, since the event story covers up to Lost Belt 4 Yuga, certain spoilers in between the Lost Belts are to be expected. That's weird. So it's strongly recommended that you get up to Lost Belt 4 at least, so. Interesting. I've. Yeah, I guess because of the certain. <laughs> certain servants that are in this, they have to kind of like put that forefront. But anyway, let's look at the Salmon campaign. This has Van Gogh and this has Nemo. Nemo's a writer who is, I believe, arts focused. We can look at what he does real quick. Yep, arts uh, single target, it looks like. Yes, arts single target. And then we have Van Gogh, 
who is a foreigner who I believe is arts, yes, arts that is to everyone, right? Uh, yes, inflict damage to all enemies for one time, three turns. Yes, that's. Uh oh. I think my Google Chrome just crashed. One moment. That was weird, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Van Gogh is an AOE arts. Uh, I'll go more into it when the actual event comes up, but this is just kind of good to go. No, I know Van Gogh is very good and uh, can be used in a very interesting way. Nemo is a little bit weird, but I can't tell if that's my own bias over Nemo not being a giant brown man. Even though I really like Nemo, I've always held that against him. So, Great Assault. I do kind of want both of these dudes, so plan ahead. This is a rough-ass banner. I really hope that they change it so that it's only one at a time. I have no idea why this banner is set up. Every time I look at this banner, it makes me angry because this is such a stupid banner set up. Two five stars, both at the same time. Stupid. Absolutely dumb. There's no even four rate up on here. I really hope that, you know, if those I had one wish, they should add something. I don't understand why the four star rate ups are on the other banner. That makes no sense to me. But hey, suffer if you're gonna go through it. It's not, it's a very weird banner. There's also new CDs as well, of course, to go with it. But it's really weird. Really weird banner. And then we have the 22 million download campaign. Which will have some nice stuff, like 22 million download extra missions for leveling up any craft essences, and then you can get up to three. I don't remember I have a level 100. This is so, it's so annoying to get to level 100, but whatever. Uh, next, a new revive item is also coming in. I think we already have this <laughs> revive item, so I'm not sure. Actually, did we? Yeah, I thought we already got this. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's something else. Maybe I'm confusing with something else. So um, we also are going to get some campaign stuff, pretty nice, some great, some good suck going on. A new mana, mana prism exchange craft essence, which is a 1% up to QP and master EXP, so when it's unbound it will be a 5% of 5% each. And then they'll also add detective foe to the mana prism shop. For a summoning campaign they will have Murasaki Shikibu, so if you're looking for Murasaki Shikibu and then also some of the Valentine's Day CDs that came with her, this is for you. This is a really weird banner, but I also feel like Shikabu is just that much more popular on the JP side of the game because she is a Japanese servant, so there you go. Uh, I like Shikabu, but also have her summer version, so I'm pretty solid, so I don't need to summon for her. I The spell has been broken for me on that one. Plus, I have Sherazade, who is a caster. Next, the Realm of Hell Mandala Heyokyong pre-release campaign. Again, if we end up getting this early, we might get... Hmm, I wonder how the schedule is going to end up looking. It's going to be a very interesting month, but... Friend points are doubled for these units right here, which is Sai, Tamamo, Shikabu, uh, Raiko, Kintoki, Ibaraki, Shuten, and Kaito Danzo. Also new strength and quest for Kintoki. This is the one that makes him super really good for... <laughs> Um, taking down enemy bosses, if I remember right. I think it's like the 80% MP charger or something. Donzo gets a strengthening and Ibaraki gets one. Also, there's a pre-release summoning featuring Kintoki, Raiko, Donzo, and Ibaraki. I forgot that there was going to be a banner featuring Raiko, so that's not good for my mental well-being. Dumplings over flowers, and some really old Z's too. I think this is from the old uh, Raiko Kintoki event from back in the day when Raiko first released. And next, 1.8 million followers. I'm not sure if we're going to be getting that, but yeah. And then Hysicle. This is going to be a weird one because I can't remember if they said in a specific live stream somewhere that it actually was coming up earlier. So you could probably expect that to be coming up a little bit later. But if <laughs> you can see here, we've kind of blown past a lot of the things that you kind of are expecting for us. At this point in, by the time it gets to December, we're going to be getting, like, stuff that should be in January, like Saber Wars rerun. I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. I don't know what the hell they plan to do for um, the rest of 2020. Because it's a really... We're, at this point, we're going to have Christmas in November. Early or beginning November. And then what do we have afterwards? It doesn't make any sense. But we'll see. Of course, NA has a very special NA-specific thing in November, which is the Thanksgiving banner, um, which we 
can see here. So who knows, maybe we'll lose a little bit of time here to the Thanksgiving Day special. Then maybe that will make up a little bit of time. But either than that, that's what you can expect for this month. It's a very weird month as things have kind of gotten a little bit weird in terms of our timeline as we've kind of flip-flopped around. But there you go. Good luck to you if you end up summoning on any of these banners. I think I'm going to end up summoning again on this one, but I'm really saving most of it for Ibaraki over here. So, and then of course for the people who are uh, saving for the big man, he is coming New Year's, so something to keep in mind for now. You don't have much more time to save. One, two, three, <laughs> three months basically. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.